new discard. All right, cool. So sometimes when you're drawing loose structures, the first structure that comes out isn't already always correct. It might look really good and they might all have their valence, valence electron shells filled, but it's just not correct because of this thing called formal charge. And what we want to make sure we do in our Lewis structures is reduce this thing called formal charge. Um, I feel like the best way for me to explain this to you is in it with an example. So let's try and draw the polyatomic ion structure for SO4 minus to the polyatomic ion. Um, so with S we get six electrons and with oxygen we get for we get six for each of those two so we'll multiply that by four um and then because we have the minus two charge what you do in that case is you just add two more electrons because that just means that it has two more electrons than it should um so now we have six times five basically plus two so we have a total of 32 electrons in the valence shell um so when we make our lewis dot structure what we want to do first is put the most electronegative atom in the middle which is sulfur and then i'm thinking because we have so many electrons we might as well just put them the oxygens all around the sulfur that's the thing about Lewis dot structures. At this point, it just comes down to guessing what you think is going to happen. That's why they can get annoying, and I hated how there's just not one clear-cut set of rules you can follow. All right, cool. So then if we start filling in the valence electrons, you can see that each one's going to take six valence electrons. So that's going to be six, eight, 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 eight. And then we're going to complete all of their valence shells. The only thing is, before we do that, I just want you guys to take a look and see what kind of formal charge we got going on here. Um, so formal charge is just the number of valence electrons that it initially has. So oxygen has six. And then you want to subtract the number of bonds. So that's one. So that brings us to five. And then subtract the number of dots. So that's six. So that's going to bring us to a formal charge of negative one. And that's going to exist on each one of the oxygens. Now let's look at sulfur too. That has an initial valence electrons of six. And then the number of bonds is one, two, three, four. So that brings us to plus two. And it doesn't have any dots. It doesn't have any. Um, so it actually has a formal charge of plus two. So this Lewis structure, if I had filled in all the valence electrons for all the other oxygens, would not be that stable because you have all these formal charges. So you really want to reduce them. And what you end up doing is that you bring two in as double bonds. Um, and then you fill in the electrons. And that's why it gets a little tricky. And it just comes with practice. How do I get back to the... Um, but yeah, so then when you ha when you start filling the valence electrons in now, you have one, you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. And now you don't have, you only have two um, oxygen atoms that have a formal charge of negative one, and that's where the charge of negative two comes from in the polyatomic ion SO4, which is pretty cool. Sorry that was a long video, but I just wanted to make sure I was thorough in explaining that. Um, feel free to ask questions, and also there's other videos on the next slide that go into how important reducing formal charge is when it comes to drawing your loose structures.